Yes, but we stay. The finance ministry has today expressed interest in securing a 481 billion supplementary budget for Uganda National Oil Company. Hold on a bit, I, I'm just... Of these 259 billion shillings, is meant to be spent on the East African crude oil pipeline as part of Uganda's 15% equity contribution towards the network expected to flow from Uganda to Tanzania. The 12.8 trillion, 1,444 kilometer pipeline is planned to start in Hoima and end up in Tanga on the Indian Ocean in Tanzania in a bid to transport 216,000 barrels per day. According to Uganda's finance minister, Matia Kasaija, the Uganda National Oil Company needs the money before the international oil companies could sign the final investment decision later this month. We all have been waiting for this occasion when we, we really that five, what they call the final decision, investment decision would be made. So we, when we saw this, we, we thought now God is smiling at us. That's why we said we cannot, we, can, we, we must move at this supersonic speed in order to, to realize that objective. However, the minister's request was delayed as MPs on the Finance Committee demanded to first see the details of the final investment decision paperwork before the money can be released. This agreement is supposed to be approved by Parliament. How do we guide approve money first. to approve money for an agreement which Parliament, which you don't even have because you are yet to sign it? And we are not signing just operational fees, we are signing in. Uh, and whatever, too. Even if they are saying that as soon as the agreement is signed, they should also deposit the money. They want to do those operation negotiations over there. Because the agreement must be approved by what? Parliament. UNOCO is also looking for a further $222 billion to settle what it called historical costs incurred on land acquisition and compensation, studies, surveys, and front end engineering. Then you have to explain to us thoroughly what you mean by historical costs. Because you know very well, finance director is here. How on earth are you telling us to pay for historical costs? Moreover, through a supplement. And historical cost, is, it's a concept in accounting for measuring the value of assets. Because, yes, we can sign agreements as papers here. But now in the field, if somebody is saying that I, I surveyed, and I spent billions of money. How, how, how sure are we that it is true? That is the amount that that person is seeking for in terms of recovery. The Minister of Finance is now expected to return to Parliament with the required documentation before the requests can be approved. Hubbard Ziwa, NTV at Parliament.